everybody. My name is Sean Wilkinson, um, founder of Storage, and we're talking today about decentralizing GitHub. So, how many people raise your hand uh, use GitHub? Just raise your hand. Okay, great. Great tool, great platform. Now, imagine one day you wake up, you have a nice cup of tea or coffee, and you log in, and your account has been banned on GitHub, you can't access any of your repositories, you can't download any of your code, it's this all gone, and there's nothing you can do. Uh, this is not a hypothetical situation for some people. Um, in 2019, uh, people in Crimea, Syria, and Iran, developers just had their accounts blocked. As we know, GitHub got acquired by Microsoft, I got some, some lawyers got bored, they figured, what are we going to do today? Uh, we can't work you know, commercially with these uh, countries due to sanction laws, and they interpreted that, okay, let's ban all these users in these countries. So censorship, not that great, not that great. There's other examples of this. In uh, 2014, uh, Russia, someone posted something on GitHub that Russia didn't like, so they just banned the site entirely. Uh, obviously, they brought it back. Uh, but for a week or so, people weren't, uh, and developers weren't able to access GitHub. Uh, we have many other examples, 2015, 16, 2017, 2018, 2019, where for whatever reason or whatever pro uh, problem happened, uh, GitHub goes down uh, for hours to days. Uh, so this sounds like a familiar problem in the industry that we're trying to deal with, centralization, right? Um, and, you know, GitHub just has a lot of control over this platform that we use and we really depend on to build out these next-gen applications, and that's not that great. Um, again, there's a lot of concerns by many people in the community that you know, uh, Microsoft will do what they did with LinkedIn, and one day you'll wake up and there'll be a paywall to, to get out. So, I think we really, this is a problem. Like, first this happens to somebody else, uh, but it could happen to any of us. And so, we need to act now, we need to do something about this. We need to decentralize GitHub. So, how should we go about that? The way I think we should go about it is we should just download all of GitHub. All in its entire, entirety, download all the repositories, and stick it in a decentralized platform, a decentralized data store. So that if GitHub goes down, or they decide to arbitrarily block accounts or ban accounts, at least you can get your code out and take it somewhere else like GitHub. So, uh, going through this process, uh, the past couple of months, uh, we found there's a cool little project called Git, uh, uh, Git Archive, uh, dot org which uh, essentially caches all the public metadata and actions uh, that, that people publicly do on GitHub. So from there, you can kind of get a, a list of pretty much any, anyone who's been active on GitHub since 2015, and then you can pull the GitHub API to get all their public repositories. Uh, and then we can download them into a decentralized data storage uh, platform, storage, uh, and then we can make this accessible uh, to many people, again, in the case that people lose access to their repositories on GitHub or blo uh, uh, block, ban, or GitHub goes down, we can get access to this, this area. So we made a little site, gitbackup.org. Uh, uh, all you do is you put in your GitHub username, you hit sync, and we will back it up and store it on storage, uh, and then make that accessible both through our platform uh, and then we're also looking at making it accessible through uh, things like IPFS. So if this website is ever down, you could still uh, get to the data. Uh, so this data is way out of date. Uh, to date, we've downloaded about 300,000 repositories. We're storing about 30 terabytes of information. And uh, we're tracking about 50,000 users. Uh, so this is just how much data we've downloaded pretty much this week. Um, and so the pace at which we're accelerating and, and downloading data is, is growing at an increasing pace. So we'll probably have at least a million users uh, downloaded by the end of the year. So I encourage you to jump on your phone or your laptop and try it out. Just all you have to do is put in your GitHub username, hit sync, and we'll back that up for you. Uh, and next time GitHub decides to do something uh, like ban users arbitrarily and not give them access to their code, at least now we have a backup option. So, thanks for listening.